Hey, 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 happy day 785 of what she up to now. Rain or shine. This is the topic of my Supersize Your Business um, video today. And I actually love this expression because it's been around since at least the 1600s and it reminds us all that there are things that we will commit to or will make sure happen or participate in no matter what the weather, no matter what's going on around us. You know, Christmas happens and even if there's storms brewing in our relationships, we still participate in Christmas, right? Although that, I actually didn't participate in Christmas this year because I had the flu. And so I stayed home on the couch sick, watching Netflix with, you know, <laughs> between Netflix and the bathroom because I had the flu. Um, so I guess there are things that even I miss rain or shine. So Christmas has to come off my own personal list, but for the most part, there's things we commit to no matter what's going on in our life, right? Uh, right now is a huge test of what's really important to us. What's a priority to us? What are we going to do? What are we going to commit to? What are we going to follow through with rain or shine? For many of us, it's we're going to go to work no matter what. We're going to go to work and do what we have to do to provide and, and, and make money to support our families, to support ourselves and our families. But for many of us, that rug has been pulled out from under us and we are home doing what we have to do to take care of our families, to honor social distancing so that we can make sure that this pandemic that's going on right now, oh my God, shiny face, I guess, that's weird. <laughs> um, so that we can take care of physically because physically our needs are greater than, you know, mentally and emotionally and spiritually and going to work, right? We need to actually physically take care of ourselves because if we have a physical problem, we're done. The game's over, right? Uh, I've, I've known that from personal experience. I've had uh, major physical challenges health-wise in my past, and there's nothing that will shut you down faster, no matter what your commitments, rain or shine, are um, than having a health challenge or a health scare, having a diagnosis, a cancer diagnosis, or you know, sudden cardiac arrest and dropping dead. That'll stop you in your tracks and every other priority you had pretty much goes out the window, right? And you have to take care of your physical well-being. Rain or shine. So rain or shine, no matter what's going on in the world, I would recommend that we set ourselves and our physical well-being and our health and welfare as a priority, rain or shine. Um, and it, for the vast majority of us, especially myself and business owner friends and, and type A personalities and moms and busy people and we're all busy people right um, a lot of times our health goes way down the totem pole in terms of a priority um, for decades I'm talking my 30s and my 40s I didn't take care of myself I had I was busy I was building businesses I was working I was raising my kids I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off a lot of the time running and getting and doing all the things that I thought I should do and had to do. And at 50, I had a hard stop when I had a sudden cardiac arrest. Now, there aren't very many things in our lives or situations like right now where we're given a hard stop. My hard stop was my sudden cardiac arrest. And at that point, I had to take a hard stop and a look at, you know, I was fortunate enough to, to wake up from the coma after they filtered my blood through freezing and all this stuff I don't really understand and never looked into because I didn't want to think about it or know. Um, but I knew that I had to make massive changes, massive lifestyle changes in order to, you know, still be here talking to you today, right? That was a huge hard stop. Health challenges are a hard stop for most of us. And the, those of us that change our lifestyle and do things differently survive and continue to thrive after that event and through that event. Um, those that don't tend to not make it. Um, that's that's the statistics, that's the what actually happens. It's not, you know, me just saying that, it, it is. And, and part of what scared me into making massive lifestyle changes was I did research when I woke up and, I, and I'm like, well, what the heck happened to me and what can I do about it? Because I wasn't very hopeful based on what my, my doctors were telling me. Basically, the vast majority of people within three years and then there's another mark at six years just die and don't survive unless and I really focused in on this unless unless they make massive lifestyle changes so what did I do I made massive lifestyle changes and this is what we're facing right now all of us all of us in mass around the world are facing 
the, and I like to say the opportunity, you know, we don't have a choice really, we got to make these changes, but we're facing the opportunity to change our lives and our world in a positive way by making massive lifestyle changes. And the, the world has, you know, as, as horrible as a pandemic is, has given us that hard stop in all of our lives to look around and say, what am I committed to rain or shine? What are my priorities? What are, what's really important to me? And what am I gonna do about it now as during this hard stop? And what am I gonna do moving forward? Um, I've been telling everybody that I work with and talk to and including my kids, now is the time to, you know, let go of the doubt, worry, and fear because there's nothing you can do about it. It's like focusing on the past. There's nothing you can do to change the past except change yourself right now to be a better person than you were in the past. Um, and to make better choices, to be in different situations, da 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 um, and, and to be prepared for and be creating exactly what you want. Focus on what you can do, what you totally, absolutely can do right now. And guess what? All of us that feel like there's nothing we can do, we're not, you know, we're stuck at home, we can't work, we don't have an opportunity to work online. Guess what? There's still things that we can do. We can deepen our relationship with our friends and family and the people that we are able to interact with. We can hop online and, and study and look into and research or do anything on our, you know, most of us, at least women, have these massive to-do lists or honey-do lists or, or things that we could be doing. And they're things that we've always wanted to do around our house and around our life or to organize something. And we put it off because we just haven't had the time for it. Well, now we have the time for it. Guess what? I'm not encouraging everybody to run out to the hardware stores, but the hardware stores are open. You can do some projects around the house. Be careful so you don't hurt yourself. Um, don't want to have to go to the hospital, but, and I say this because my nephew just cut his leg open and had to go to the hospital last week when he was um, doing something in the garage. He, he told it, he had to go and get a bunch of stitches and stuff. So I don't recommend doing that. Don't do that. But there's a lot of things you can do. Hang those pictures on the wall. Hang those mirrors. You can paint, paint something, right? Paint a room, freshen it up. Clean the basement, clean the garage, organize your stuff. Clean out the pantry and see what you really have for food before you have to go out to the store and find out that you, you know, find out what you really need and just get those things. Don't, don't overdo. But, but there's, there's so many things that we can do if we just are saying, what can I do and how can I serve people? And there are so many ways that we can continue to serve other people even if we can't get together with them. We can have, and, and I love what's going on online, people are having Zoom and virtual uh, cocktail parties. They're having dinner parties via Zoom. Everybody's at home eating their dinner and having dinner parties and being involved in conversing with one another. The internet has given us the gift of, even though we're disconnected, becoming more connected. And I think this is kind of a wake up call because so many people are walking around with their faces in their phones and their heads down instead of interacting with people. And it's sort of a reminder to get us all understanding and realizing how much we are are really in need of, on a basic human level, actual human interaction and human connection. Um, and not just through our devices, now that we're being forced to only go through our devices. But the devices are, are a gift because we can go through them, we can stay connected. And I think it's, you know, another wake up call to show us the way we're spending our resources around the world are a little, a little jacked up, right? When I think back to being in corporate America and how much money my company spent on flying me around the world to meet with customers and to do things with customers, when even back then, even back you know before the internet was huge, there were technology solutions, there were technical solutions and things that we could have done that meant and that, that we didn't have to do all that traveling and all that expense and all those resources spent on traveling. And I'm talking millions and millions and millions of dollars in some of the companies that I work for, if not more. Um, and it was, uh, you know, it was resources spent to build relationships, but it, it wasn't all necessary, right? And so I think that we're on in this shift of what what is really necessary to move humanity ahead, right? Um, and how are we going to, how are we going to solve problems and work on those things together as, as business owners, politicians, um, individual leaders in all walks of life to make the world a better place because I think the world is saying hey guys 
you've been messing with me long enough, it's time that I give you a wake-up call. At least that's my interpretation and my take on it, is that it, it was time for, you know, and I'm not going to get biblical or anything, but everything cycles through, right? Um, we have these huge periods of growth, and there's, then there's a little cycle and a decline and a, and a readjustment. We have more areas of growth, and humanity will continue to evolve and grow and, and become better, but we need to become better. And I think that in a lot of ways, um, stuff was, was pretty bad around us, right? Pretty, pretty negative and pretty evil, and I think that it's all... It's all a readjustment, and we can we can look at it as the gift that it is. It's a time to rebuild and recharge and refocus on what's really important to us and our priorities. Or we can say, "Ain't it awful?" Throw up our hands, and in a couple weeks, we'll all be back to you know normal and work as we as we thought it should be, and um, no more better prepared for the next time something happens because life is full of change and challenges. It always has been, and it always will be, and. It's a huge opportunity for us to learn how to handle challenges and change in ways that enhance our lives instead of in ways that, that freak us out and have us frustrated. So rain or shine, I'm thinking about that a lot. Um, there's so many things. I'm doing a live challenge workshop starting today, um, rain or shine. Now, I already had it scheduled, you know, 20 days ago. And, and even before that, I decided I believe in, gosh, February, January, February that I was going to do it and I picked this date and so I was gonna do it no matter what it's online it's virtual so it's easy to move forward and do that and I'm, I'm still doing all my videos every day I hop online every morning and, and part of why I do that is because I committed to myself that I would do it I committed to myself that I would do a 365 day fun challenge today was day 75 of that and so every day I hop on and I share one fun thing every day that we can do and and I do that and I I wasn't gonna stop doing any of that because the world's in a pandemic and a mess because I think now more than ever you know I need to show up not only for you all but for me I need to show up and be consistent to the things that are important to me I do need to get more exercise I'm the first to admit that but um, <laughs> I'll start doing that too as the weather gets nicer um, so do what you can do focus on what you can do and realize there is a whole lot more that you can do than you think right now and still keep yourself and your family safe. Um, there's so much in this world to explore and learn about. I think that the state parks and the national parks in this country are busier than they have ever been. You know, why is that? People have got the time and the opportunity to actually go to them and explore them. Okay, they're free now too, but they actually have the time that they're not running around and they're like, okay, what are we gonna do? We need to get out so we don't go crazy. And it's easy to stay away from each other at a, a state park, even if it's super duper busy. You can still stay six feet away from each other. And you're out in nature and nature will help take care of us and you know any, any germs that are going around, right? They'll get blown away. So, uh, no, I'm not a doctor or anything, so don't, don't, don't take my word for you. you can go out in nature and be safe, right? I've seen enough crazy scary movies that say you know stuff carries on the breeze and wind can kill people so just just use your own common sense on that one um, live thrive challenge is starting today today is day one I'm excited I wish I had done a lot more things for it but I haven't but guess what rain or shine I'm doing it anyway I'm gonna deliver it anyway and we'll see how it lands we'll see who I can help and who I can serve by showing up and sharing everything I've learned about challenges over the last 60 years. I can say 60 years because I've been facing challenges my entire life just like you have, I guarantee it. And guess what? As a world, we're facing a huge challenge right now and we'll get through this too. We will get through this. This too shall pass. Everything does. You know, we live in a, a world of massive change and cycles of change. And, you know, look at, just look at nature. Go out in nature and spend, which is, I'm, I'm loving the people at the parks time outdoors and time in nature and you'll see number one all the beauty around you number two that we live in this incredibly abundant universe no matter what's going on in the world with this pandemic spring is still coming at least in Wisconsin the snow is melting the birds are singing the birds are returning and you just you open the door to let the dogs out it's chirp 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 and one of the dogs goes insane about birds so it's really entertaining um, 
she's got a bad ACL. She's got a torn ACL, so she's struggling with that. Um, but she's but spring is still coming, right? The seasons are still coming, no matter what, and, and nature shows us that. Um, it gives us it gives us hope. It gives us um, belief that you know this too shall pass. Everything changes. Everything has a season. Uh, fun day was all about actually the mountains and nature and spending time in nature and the power and the beauty of that and what you can get from that and how it makes you feel and how it is fun, right? How how bad can you feel when you're sitting by a babbling brook or, or a, a flowing river? How bad can you feel when you're walking in the mountains and breathing that fresh mountain air? How bad can you feel when the sun is shining on your face? Well, you can, but you know, it, it does kind of shake you out of it pretty quick. So working on that, that's about it. Um, that's, a, that's, that's what I've got for this amazing Monday. Uh, and that's what I've got and that's what I'm thinking about and I'd like you to think about as you're going about your day. How can I help? How can I positively contribute to my life and the life of those around me and make the world a better place? Because if we all do that, guess what? The world will automatically be a better place for us having been here. Take care, have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask. Hit me up in the comments below. Join the challenge, uh, Thrive Challenge group. I, I usually don't share that here, but if you're curious and want to, let me know. 12 noon Eastern, uh, I'm gonna do it live on the Thrive Challenge page. And then I we've got a group, a private group, where you can actually win prizes just for participating. So you listen to the little video, you answer a question or do a little activity, one a day, not overwhelming anybody. I'm not sure how long the videos are going to be this time. I didn't, I haven't practiced. I've done lots of challenges and, and the, the length of the videos and the length of the live, I mean, um, is different every time depending on the topic, depending on how much I talk, kind of like my videos every day, right? You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it's five minutes, sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 35. It just depends on the topic. Um, so I'm just saying I, I don't plan on it being more than half an hour. That's a long time for me to talk. but. I don't know. And then some days I've done challenges where I limit myself to 10 minutes. I cannot go over 10 minutes no matter what. Um, I've done other challenges where, you know, hey, it's two minutes. And I did a 90 day challenge and, and a couple of the days were a half hour if I was demonstrating and showing something and other days were, you know, five minutes or less. And sometimes, you know, two or three minutes because that's all it took to share what I was sharing and to say, hey, this is the thing we're gonna do today, all of us. Because I always do my challenges with people. Right? I always do them too because every time I do them, I learn what works, what doesn't work, and, and what, what do I need to say and what do I need to share to really get this information across so that people that are participating can really benefit from it and get the results that they want. So go out, have an absolutely amazing day, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another update on what I'm doing as I transition from the brick-and-mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. Take care.